Hungry Cubs, written and illustrated by Kelsey Price. Tidal Wave, written and illustrated by Christopher Conti. The Pup's Rescue, written and illustrated by Jared St. Orange. The Bear's Terrible Night, written and illustrated by Chelsea Lash. One bitter winter night, a mama bear gives birth to two baby cubs. The mama bear is sleeping and doesn't know that she gave birth to two baby cubs. Later on, the mama bear sees her newborn babies and tries to move over without waking up her babies. On a cool morning, a blue whale is floating on the surface to get some air. He is swimming through the water and swishing in the nice, cool, cold ocean. One windy summer night, a fox pup wandered away from his den in a tree trunk on the edge of the forest. As he sniffed the air, he heard a rock fall. He started to shiver. He felt scared. When I was reading my story to the class, I was really thinking really hard, and the pictures came out of my mind, and then they just acted what I was reading. That's how I became a read it, written an illustrator. One clear, calm sunrise, a snow leopard was looking for food. It picks up the scent of a herd of blue sheep. The snow leopard follows the scent. I worked really hard on him, and if there was something I didn't like, I, I tried again. And then if that wasn't good, I tried again. I kept on trying until I got it exactly how I wanted it. When the summer sun rose over the emerald meadow, two hungry bear cubs wandered off in search of some wild plump berries and some insects to eat. The picture sort of gave you all the right ideas to put in the sentence. It sort of gave it a little bit more pizzazz to it. One calm sunny day, the koala searched the grassy lands of Australia to find a tree with lots of leaves. The koala climbed the tree watching the golden sunset. The words. I just made them sound like they were with the picture. And it came out as a really good book. Picturing writing, fostering literacy through art. And image making within the writing process are two innovative art and literature based approaches to writing designed to meet the needs of students with diverse learning styles. Developed by Bethel Shansky at the University of New Hampshire, these dynamic models provide a comprehensive alternative approach to teaching writing that supports all students in the acquisition of essential literacy skills. These systematic art-infused methods for teaching writing are easily integrated into the curriculum across grade levels. The tiny brown dots are what he eats, the tiny shrimp called krill. What's that little thing? It looks like a box and then a line down. That's the baleen plates that they use to catch their food. We're going to learn a lot about whales Eli. from Chris, aren't we? They allow teachers to teach the state standards and address district-wide curriculum while meeting the needs of the diverse learners within their classroom community. What's your snow leopard's problem? Oh, the problem was he found the, the blue sheep only. It belonged to a farmer. Um, was the solution? Oh, the solution. As students engage in authentic learning experiences, reading, writing, listening, and speaking are seamlessly woven together with their art. Picturing writing and image making have proven their effectiveness in improving student writing as well as reading, particularly for those at risk. The tiger ran away and leaped over the mud so that the hunter couldn't see the footprints. I like it because 
everybody in my class got a award um, for doing a nice job.